everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having an awesome day today. We are playing Legacy of Jeffrey Epstein. Bad Omen. So I assume this is our good old friend Epstein, huh? And you may be thinking, huh, you sound a little bit different. And you'd be correct. Very good observation. I have the flu. And you're probably thinking, hey, what are you doing recording a video? Well, let me tell you, what's the best way to deal with the flu? Option one. Is it to get plenty of rest and take medication and drink lots of water? Is it option two, play video games all day and record a video? Or three, drink cyanide or something, I don't know. I can already tell this is going to be a lot of fun, being sick and playing a horror game. I don't expect this game to be too scary though. It's probably gonna, it's probably one of those like silly horror games. Gonna find out the truth if he killed himself or not. Hi, it's me, Joe Cleo. Why is it Baldi's basics? It was a dark, stormy night. And I had decided to go drive around the woods for no real reason. There have been multiple reports about the Splendor Man being sighted Dude, in the Dude, this woods. game's gonna be a fucking banger. But Resident Evil 4, that. sit down. Years of intense gaming had honed my mind and reflexes to deal with any foul. <laughs> <laughs> then, suddenly, a splendor oh, dark figure appeared in front of my car. I lost control and swerved off the route in a fit of existential panic. <laughs> I can't Once take this game seriously. Away, you will learn the story of what happened next. Alright, my eyes are getting incinerated. I love this flashbang. Oh, holy shit, that was Splendor Man? No way. <laughs> oh, crap. Looks like my beater is all busted up. Beater? I hope there are some spare parts in this dark, deadly forest. Uh, I don't know. Seems like a reasonable assumption. <laughs> what the hell is this running? Hi, Tuba player! <gasps> I don't know what it means either. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is there to hear it, did it really fall? Think about it. Don't hit me up with that, like, existential dilemma problem. My brain can't handle it. My brain can't handle a lot of things, but that's just one of many. Dude, this game is gonna be so good. I mean, look at this. Look at these AAA graphics. Jedi Survivor wishes it could look like this. <laughs> oh my god, it's an ominous box. With a flashlight. Hmm, I like projection device. This could become handy. Ah, oh, my feet hurt. Uh, I think I see the problem. Uh, you don't have any feet. The average Roblox helicopter. This narrator really sounds like, um, a mix between Baldi's Basics and... Remember, like, way back there was that, like, Five Nights at Thomas's? Like, it sounds like, a, like the narrator was, like, Sir Topham Hatt or something, and it was, like, basically this voice. So it's like a love child between Baldi's Basics and... Uh, finance at Thomas's um, thing. Oh my god, it's Jeffrey Epstein! Or right, given the spikes on its head, it's probably fucking um, Craig from Slipknot. I don't know, which is more frightening. <laughs> also, one of the tags for this game was Walking Simulator. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing Death Stranding. Ah, uh, what are these metal pancakes on the floor? Ooh, p metal pancakes on the floor look tasty. <laughs> Well, I'm not exactly sure what I expected. The establishment news, unidentified body described as disgusting gamer coon found blown to smithereens in woods. I was disgusted by what I saw, unnamed bird watcher. It was a typical Tuesday for Joe, who wishes to remain unnamed as he was strolling the woods on the lookout for the red-bellied goose blapper. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the name of an actual bird. I've heard reports of the goose blapper migrating through these woods, but I haven't actually sighted one yet, Joe said as his face took a sour turn. What I ended up finding was much more grim, and was disgusted by what I saw. Joe had spotted with his binoculars a pile of blood and giblets next to a massive hole in the ground. Whoever he was, he was fracked real good. This game, man, holy shit. Authorities do not suspect foul play as there was a very clearly marked minefield and the body was found next to a detonated mine. Loge, Loge Gaben, holy shit. Is this a Valve game? 
Gaben. A dollar twenty-five for a newspaper. Holy shit. I get newspapers for free and I don't even fucking want them. I have to do all this horse cockamamie stuff again. Uh, uh, what are these metal pancakes on the floor? Uh, trust me, you don't want to go near them. Believe me, I have experience. I mean, they're a blast. But a uh, once in a lifetime kind of thing, you know? Mm, that piece of paper looks like there's a riddle on it. Oh, hell yeah. The riddle of bones. What did the black cat say to the white dog? Meow. I'm sorry, that was fucking stupid. <laughs> day becomes night and morning becomes dusk. When does the last day emerge? Wow. This riddle is a real brain buster. Well, so is a 20 gauge <laughs> shotgun. I hate the struggling noises this character makes when he's running. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't heard good voice acting like this in a very long time. Oh, hell yeah, the ominous flare gun and a piece of paper. Awesome. Exactly what I need. Hmm, a wild canine, eh? Interesting. I think we call those cats. Gosh, old Potomac! There's eight <laughs> dogs over here. I have a bad omen about this. He said it! He said bad omen! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I think I have water in this bottle, let me see. Nope, that's lighter fluid. Mm, tastes good though. Oh boy, what's this? This looks like a bicycle tire. Perhaps it could be retrofitted to my beater. That sounds like a great idea. Parts list, car battery, keys, wipers. How? How in God's purple earth do you lose your keys? I mean, I know you were in like a car crash or something, but like, isn't it in the ejector? In the f the thing that you turn and make the car go vroom vroom. I don't know. I'm not an American. I'm not an uh, I'm not an American mechanic. I don't know how to rip people off properly. <gasps> oh no! It's a weeping angel. Also, this music is fucking bop. My nose. <gasps> what was that? Oh, it was a gnome! <laughs> or a dwarf. I don't know. I feel bad. That kind of got me a little bit. <laughs> like, holy shit, what am I doing here? What is this? A car battery? That should be in the ocean to charge eels. Ah, a car battery, eh? Interesting. Oh my god. The scariest thing about this game is the polygons on this hill. Alright, am I gonna get chased like... Uh, chased by a gnome or something? I think that would be pretty cool. Dude, what the hell is this game? <laughs> okay, oh, so this is where the doge- Creepers cross! That scraped the living shizzles out of me. <laughs> Faux shizzle, man. I was gonna do the stoop dog thing, but no. I think I'd get in trouble for that. Dude, if the game is just gonna be like fun, cheap jump scares like that, I will be totally okay with that. If I, like, I will die a happy man playing this game if I never get, like, chased. Hmm, some car keys, eh? Interesting. Yeah, I know, right? I've never seen car keys in my life. I just hotwire a car like a normal person. Hmm, a newspaper article, eh? Interesting. Flak Jacket Monthly Issue 666. There's nothing wrong with that headliner at all. The bodies of a local Gettysburg family, Gulliver and Lorraine Anderson, and their two children that had gone missing eight months ago near the Oracle Mountains were discovered on Monday laying on their highway near Incident Forest of Evil. Article written by Loge Gaben. God damn it, Gaben! You can write like three fucking I notes, but you can't make three much. fucking games. Ah, this place reminds me of that scene in Ringmaster. The orcs are desecrating the dwarven graveyard. I'm pretty sure that was Pippin pushing a skeleton down a well. Fook of a took. Mm, a worn out summer tire. Excellent. I have a winter tire, a summer tire, and a bicycle tire. This is gonna be the safest car in America. <laughs> I just heard something clicking. Oh, I think those are my car keys. But I don't know my car keys exist yet. I haven't had like 20 bottles of uh, whiskey to drink. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a paper. I wonder if it's written by Gaben again. Look behind you. No, I don't think I will. Oh! Yeah. You thought you could get me, bitch. Fuck you. Oh, this tire is all busted up. Well, shooters can't be bigger. Yes, but boozers can be checkers. All right, checklist, what we got? Wipers. Where the fuck are the wipers? Oh, shit, there's a gun. Oh, come to papa. Can I shoot myself with this? I think that would make for some pretty riveting gameplay. Oh, are these what I'm looking wow. for? Hell yeah. My quest is complete. 
I should get back to my beater man. All right, so I guess I'm gonna get like chased by Splendor Man or the gnome. I'm not sure. Oh, it's the Splendor Man. I'm oh. positively frozen in fear. Oh no, what am I gonna do? If only I had something to defend myself. Why is it a fucking vacuum cleaner? That straight up looks like something from Smiling Friends. Like when it's spazzing out like that, it's like... <laughs> As I wiped my brow clean of Splenderman's black and giblets, I woke up groaning at the backseat of a bus. It had all been just a bad dream. I never went driving around in the woods, nor did I battle my eternal nemesis, the Splenderman. The truth was that I had merely fallen asleep during my 82-hour bus trip to Gettysburg. I had embarked on this epic journey to meet up with my gamer buddy, Lenny. He had left me a mysterious note, urging me to travel to Gettysburg to meet with him ASAP. What will I find once I get there? Is Lenny in trouble? Is this one of his famed pranks? Does the Splendor Man really exist? I don't have a clue about what's going on, but if you stick with me and play the next game in the series, then I believe we'll find the answers we need together. Holy shit. I have never played a game as good as this. This is like, triple A games should strive to be this. Sorry I haven't uploaded in like, more than two weeks. Yeah, it took me getting sick to be able to make a video, so how funny is that? I can't do it when I'm healthy, so might as well do it when I'm sick, right? God, I can't do an outro. <laughs>